Hello, my friend. Uh, happy to be here. Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. As always, a pleasure to share another video uh, with you. Let's talk about the brand new plugin by Fractal Audio. You know, the, some of the industry leaders when it comes to uh, amp modelers, effect modelers and stuff like that, right? The XFX2, XFX3 and all that. So Fractal Audio just released this incredible impulse response loader and uh, i am asking you at the end of the video let me know if you think it's the best one uh, out there uh, yet and i want to share with you of course its features controls limitations and also of course check it out in action and show you a couple of features that i think uh, can probably uh, make this plugin the best one in this category. As usual, I will leave you all, all of the applicable links in the video description and first comment and also I will leave you timestamps in case that you want to move around between the mini segments of the video. Before we begin with the content, let me invite you quickly to my website, website amnerhunter.com where you can grab some additional freebies that might be helpful for you, such as some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players, also some free tools, such as some collections of guitar impulses, uh, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out uh, my channel or this blog, um, uh, the blog in my website, which I am updating almost every day with tons of free resources and content uh, of this uh, of this kind all right uh, let me know if you are here in the live chat i am very interested to know your opinions uh, i see here acoustic hello acoustic um, as always thanks th thanks for being here uh jedi daya here you what's up brother hello i'm fine thank you hope that you are doing well and carlos rodriguez que tal estimado carlos compatriota mexicano mexican co fellow countryman carlos rodriguez creates uh, almost every week a ton of instruments for decent sampler all of them free uh, go ahead and check out his work as well so let's go here let me take you to uh, my session here in the DAW all right so this is the plugin uh, available for Windows and Mac by Fractal Audio it's called Cab Lab 4 all right and this plugin allows you to combine four different impulse responses to create one uh, huge, one uh, like full sounding uh, guitar tone uh, that can like get the best out of each one of the four to get a an, an awesome texture of guitar uh, tone, right? And I prefer this method of combining different impulse responses into one than like uh, quad tracking for instance that might take a lot of time and uh, it requires more plugins and uh, yeah I, 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 I like this method m the most to get a huge huge uh, wall of sound of guitars by combining different textures of different impulses right so that's uh, the main feature probably you have four different um, positions here to to load impulse response loaders and you can drag and drop impulses by the way here you don't need to like browse them uh, 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 only right you can drag and drop them here so also let's uh, for the sake of this video let's load some of uh, some impulses impulse responses here first you need to click here where it says uh, the number one says uh, none for instance you will click here single ir mode all right and also let's click here single ir mode single ir mode in that way you can now start to load the impulses or drag and drop them here to this window i'm gonna just browse here in my computer this folder that you can get for free in my website it's a collection of uh, many impulse responses that i have collected through the years and i curated uh, what I think or uh, what I thought were the best. So for instance, this is one of my favorites, the Espress 8 or Espress High. All right. And you have a visual representation as well of the EQ curve of that particular impulse response, right? You have here 
in the first window let's load another one a different one here so for instance let's load the um, uh, let's load the best IR in the world by uh, ML Sound Labs uh, Miko and all right so we have two of them let's load uh, load a third one here uh, just in case right and let's for instance uh, load um, uh, Satan tone or recto cab let's load this one just for the sake of this video all right so you have the visual representations of the three impulses combined all right you can mute them like that right and you have the visual representation of only the the one that you have uh, active uh, and watch how the eq curve changes when you uh, like put all of them right so you can also solo each one of the of the uh, impulse responses and also you have a low cut and high cut for the individual impulse responses here so for instance if i mute these two let's for instance apply a low cut right high pass filter and the eq curve is changing there and also with a high cut like this okay and also you can choose the decibels per octave right for a more steeper uh, curve of the high pass or low pass and you can also some um, face uh, do some face flips right change the the polarity of the impulse you see here also the the time align uh, you can see the waveform of the impulse right and if you flip the face the the peak is um, below right and if you put it normally the peak is above so the that in that way that's how the waveforms waveform starts uh, from the impulse itself all right so let's load all of them here and here in the zoom area you can like pinpoint or have like a, have a more closer look at the waveform and you have also the level of course like in the main window here right and you have the high cut and low cut uh, but you have a like a an individual uh, visual representation of each one of the impulses right and here you have the global representation and the global um, time align okay so also you have another window here in this free version available which is the align this this one is super super powerful um let me know if you on your any other free plugins have this uh feature but it's a very very important one to to face align all of the impulses that we are combining right if we don't have the waveforms aligned we're gonna have some like coursing like com filter effect which is which is not cool it's uh, it makes the guitar sound thinner and less full and yeah it, it it it's not cool for the guitar tone so it's very cool to have this align functionality here and with this uh, these three knobs or four depending if we have four impulses loaded here uh we can align them manually and you know it's super super simple like just move the the uh, knob to align them right in that way they they are perfectly aligned and they are gonna sound as they supposed to sound right like in that way all of them start like with the way from up down and so on and so forth right and you can also change the uh the length uh, of course here for instance if you want to to start here uh, right so in that way this can change also a bit the sound so I prefer to have it at the beginning here all right and yeah they are aligned in that way I'm going to also show you some examples of when of or how it sounds when when you have face issues 
all right so awesome awesome stuff uh, this align functionality functionality is great um, and in this free version i think it's a great feature uh, all right so now let's talk about um some of the limitations in this free version uh you don't have the option to move around the the microphone for instance here uh, in the speaker like uh, off axis uh, move the microphone right like the distance you don't have that option in this free version you would have to purchase the dyna dyna captures and also another limitation uh, of this free version it's is that it doesn't export wave files like for instance if you would if you would want to uh, export all of these three input responses combined and mixed into one single wave file you cannot do that in this free version uh, it only exports in like um, fractal for fractal audio uh, devices or equipment right like the axe fx stuff like that um, fm8 stuff like that but um, yeah i i don't uh, for me it's not like a huge limitation with these uh, these features included it works great for me and this align functionality i think it's super super cool and also uh, also one thing that i forgot to mention is that uh, when you move the the fader up and, uh, and down here uh, to mix the volumes of the certain impulse responses right uh, the output remains the same so it's the audio is normalized in the way out uh, i'm gonna show you that in a moment uh, practically all right so um yeah let's let's test it in in some elements in some guitars here in a mix for instance uh so by the way the impulse response loader this one goes after the 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 plugin the amp plugin in case that you're using an amp plugin right so it's the amp head and then the impulse response loader and you need to disable the um, cap section of the amp in case it has one and you then load this plugin all right so let's check out for instance the first input response here that's how guitars sound without impulses <laughs> Right, let's cut some lows. This is globally, right? So let's start to add the second impulse here. That's how it sounds, only the second one. Only the first one. And watch or listen what happens when I uh, move the faders here for the level. Right, the, the volume remains the same, which is super, super powerful. can go ahead and cut a bit or we can cut it uh, like um, universally here globally right let's add the third one here That's how it sounds, only this one.
all of them combined. Uh, let's check out here the align functionality. And let's check out some, uh, like, how can you identify some facing issues uh, when using different impulse responses, or this also can be applied if you are uh, using multiple microphones to uh, mic a cabinet, for instance. You might encounter some face issues, and it's, uh, it's easy to notice when there are face issues. Let me show you how. So, uh, so for instance, let's let's unalign this. I'm gonna collapse this guitar tone to mono. Let me mute one. And let's align them. I have done the hearing actually uh, face issues in this example. Uh, let me load another one here. Maybe uh, I like this one a lot. The Messiah, sorry, the Messiah. Let me put everything here to default. Right, let's check it out here. Let's close everything, shall we? Uh, let's put the Messiah here. I still have... Uh, Okay, what? Why do I have? Uh, do I still have sound when I am? All right, so. Yeah, weird that I still have sound if I I don't have impulses here. Maybe I have the amp enabled or something. Yeah, I have the the amp cap disabled. But I wanted to show you some audio issues when um when you have facing cancellations and stuff like that. Maybe I need to load the plugin again. Let's check it out. Cab Lab.
Okay, I don't have sound, so that's a good thing. Let's load one impulse here. Let's load a second one. For instance, the best IR in the world. All right, now let's unalign these impulses. There you go. If you start to hear that type of uh, like flanging effect, uh, chorusing effect, that means uh, face issues are happening. And in mono, it's easy to spot those issues. Right? Because the faces are not aligned and listen to what happens when the faces are aligned. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sweet spot, right? When both are aligned. So yeah, I, I just also wanted to show you that um, some like the sound of facing issues or when something is wrong with the waveforms, right? So yeah, let me know what you think of this plugin, my friend. Uh, I am very interested to know your opinions here about this brand new plugin by Fractal Audio. Um, I see here some people, uh, Sound Healer, uh, Jedediah just grabbed Cab Lab, installed very smooth. I was very impressed with Fen, Fen, Fen Rear, yeah, by Aurora DSP, by this thing is like five of those. Uh, hi Amner, hello TNT Studios, thanks a lot for being here, I appreciate it my friend. Um, uh, yeah, Geoffrey Rojas, ¿Cuándo saldrá en español? ¿Qué tal, Geoffrey? Ya no hago videos en español, ahora ya tienen subtítulos, ya fue insostenible hacer ambos videos, eh, pero en unas horas, eh, en unas 10 horas, 12 horas, va a estar, va a estar traducido al español enteramente, así que este, ese es el asunto con, con los uh, videos en español. Subí un video avisando de esto. Uh, Geoffrey is asking about the videos in Spanish, uh, what happened to them and all that. Uh, Mesa Recto says downloading now thanks so there you go my friend before we leave let me invite you one last time to my website amnerhunted.com where you can grab some additional freebies such as some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players also some free tools such as some collections of guitar impulses some collections of drum sample packs among other utilities and finally don't forget to check out this channel or my blog which I am updating almost every day with content like this I'm sorry for the the glitch uh, that happened during the the facing um, issues thing, but uh, it, I don't know if it's a bug or something in the plugin. But I had to restart the plugin, uh, right? So, but there you go, my friend. Uh, uh, one last comment here: uh, Gianlu Talica says, "Hi, man. I tried it a bit with a neural amp modeler, and it sounds great. Really responsive and intuitive." I agree with you, I agree with you. I haven't tested it with uh, Neural App Modeler, but I will check it out very soon uh, for sure. Thanks a lot, you guys. Take care. Uh, have a great rest of the day, afternoon, evening, uh, or morning, if you are in the other side of the world. <laughs> and So take care, and I will see you soon, soon in the next one. Bye-bye.